Hey guys, our devotion today is from Jeremiah chapter 4. We'll be looking at verses 1 through 22 today. And we also want to remember to be in prayer for the Harshburgers, Matt and Dana. They moved away, but they're still part of our church family, and we still want to be praying for them. So Jeremiah chapter 4. When is the last time you heard an alarm go off? I'm not really talking about your alarm clock. I know we might hear that a lot, but I mean an alarm, like a siren. When you're out and about um, in the town and you hear something like a siren happening, it will scare the living daylights out of you. You you will look around and think, what in the world is going on? And that's what this chapter reminded me of. It talks about the trumpet being sounded, the alarm being sounded. It's like Pastor Mike was talking about uh, the other day when he preached. He talked about how God is sounding the alarm for America to wake up. And when you hear that alarm in real life, you, you wake up immediately and you know something is going on. Spiritually, we need to be listening and hearing that the alarm is going off and something is, is going on that we need, we need to be paying attention to. And in Jeremiah here, it's obvious God is trying to wake up the people of Judah. He's sounding the alarm. He's warning them. And for them, the danger of God's judgment coming upon them, it looked like this nation that was going to come and to overthrow them and completely destroy them. God was going to save a remnant uh, of them, but for the most part, they were going to be taken into captivity. And so Jeremiah here, he's not delivering pleasant messages. It's not things that people weren't going to want to hear. There was a lot of false prophets preaching peace and preaching comfort and telling everybody, well, we're okay. We're doing what's right. We're God's people and nothing, nothing bad is going to happen. Jeremiah had to do this very difficult job delivering this message of God. And, and they really hated the messenger. Okay, They didn't like Jeremiah and they didn't want to hear what he had to say. They were rejecting truth. There's just a couple parts of this. Uh, there's a, so much in this chapter, but some things that stood out to me was Jeremiah, God calling the people um, of Judah to plow up the ground that they were going to sow in returning to him. Um, get rid of the sin in their life. He talks about how they had set up these high places and they have these worship of other gods. And God says, if you're going to return to me, Get rid of that stuff. Wash your hearts from evil. And I think this is true uh, for us as a nation. If we're going to return to God, listen, as followers of Christ, we know it's Him that cleaned us up. We didn't clean up ourselves. Um, but we have to be willing to let Him make changes in our lives, to listen to the rebuke of the Holy Spirit, to get rid of sin, to plow up the ground, maybe, and that may be for us as followers of Christ some time of saying, God, examine my life, examine my heart, show me the things in, in my life that are not pleasing to you. Help me uproot those things. And of course, obviously, as a nation, if we're going to return to him, we have to get rid of the sin uh, in our lives. But again, there was a stubbornness and a pride that Judah had to fight against. They weren't able to hear this call that was going out. And so today, I think, for our nation, let's pray that they will hear the alarm, that we, uh, as people who call ourselves followers of Christ, will hear the alarm, that we'll be startled by it, and that we will seek God in a brand new way, um, in a fervent way, that we would seek safety. If we were to walk outside today and we would hear a loud siren begin to blare, We'd be seeking cover. We'd be wanting to know where we can go to get saved. Um, let's run to Christ and ask him and yield to him. Like, change, change my heart, Lord God. Plow up the old ground. Get rid of the sin. God bless you guys.